Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams wrapping up their warm-up just about set for action in the ACC. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Mason is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He's to the 20, at the 30, and he's taken down at the 34. Seniors are throwing on the home jerseys for the final time in their career, and for these kids, an awfully emotional time. You always want to go out in style and get a win. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They hand it off, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Owens gains around three yards on the run. Runs outside for a nice game. That's good for a game seven yards. the 45. Now well, the defense didn't surrender much room there, but the run was still enough for the first down. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 36. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. From the 33-yard line, second down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Out of bounds at about the 31. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's out of bounds around the 30-yard line. So they're going to go for it here. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. See what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at the 35. That'll make it second and four. Three 
He's taken down at the 47-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Pass complete and taken down immediately. The Wildcats have a lot at stake here, including some possible record-breaking performances. Records and stats are great, but I think to a man, these players say, let's win the game first, and then any accolades we get along with it, that'd be great. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game six on the ball. Third down. He's on the run. Makes it to the 34. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Kill, kill, kill. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the 30 yard line. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Let's go. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And he's tackled at about the 11. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. And he's taken down around the 11 yard line. That brings up second and nine. Quick, he catches another, and he hits him hard at the six. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws it, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Kentucky, ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's tackled at the 47. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the First field and find out. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. That one will put the offense in a hole, down. and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. They hand it off again, and they make the stop at the 45-yard line. First down. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 49. Quick pass. He's brought down in the open field. 
Wisconsin. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. Wildcats with a three-point lead. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. Looking for the corner. He takes it in at the 14. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kentucky holds a field goal lead. Quick strike, and he drops it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Hudson up the gut. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Third down. Yard line. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. That makes it fourth and inches. Freeman back to return it. Freeman fields it the 31. What a collision! With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. That brings up second and one. Five wide. Catches it. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. That makes it first and ten. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires quick. He's got another one. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And they push him out around the seven-yard line. That brings him second and goal. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Gets it out to him again. Brought down around the three-yard line. The defense is trying to protect their lead, but the offense is threatening. It's third down from the three. Throws complete touchdown. their halfback in the passing game and he got into the end zone. Well, they know they can go to him in the red zone and he'll make some things happen for them. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Mustangs arrive at today's game ranked 20th. And for SMU, they've extended their lead. The Mustangs are on top, 14-0. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Gathered in at the six. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. They come out in a five-wide set. Give to the tailback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They'll knock him down for a loss. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to. And the net result is a loss. Mason to punt. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. The Volunteers over the years have had great quarterbacks. They've got another one. He's proving to be that here in the first half, and he's the true leader of this group right now. Leadership. You, you hit the nail right on the head. This team is, is moving the football, but it has everything to do with this young man and what he's been able to do for them because, it's, again, he's making great throws. Uh, he's, he's making good checks at the line of scrimmage. But the thing that's standing out to me is his leadership and the way this team responds to that leadership, and that's why this team right now is playing as well as they have you don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception from their own 42 yard line it's second down tennessee holds a four-point lead he's taken down at the 49 that's a deep nine play third down He makes it to the 48-yard line. Parker awaits the snap. corner. Lacey fields it at the 18, and he's tackled at the 26. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. And a quick throw. Excellent open field tackle. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 38. Caught, and that's a first down. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. yard line. Second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 44.
He gets to about the 31-yard line. Kentucky's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. He launches one for the end zone, and he will score. receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Let's have a look at some scores from around the country. Several surprises today. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Snyder, He's thrown for a pair of touchdowns. SMU in front, 21-7, early in the second quarter. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. Mason gets set to kick this one away. Freeman has it at the 5. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. The Volunteers use their second timeout. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He's going to air it long. Almost intercepted. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. The Wildcats lead 10-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Take a look at both quarterbacks in this game, and neither one of them even has their pants dirty. Nobody's been on the ground here. No pressure generated by the defense, but one of the reasons is because quarterbacks have been able to get rid of the football. Maybe maybe a little help in the secondary to those guys trying to rush the pass. Yeah, the guys up front always get the blame, but it really is a business that works hand-in-hand hand because I... You can get a lot of sacks off garbage sacks where it's great coverage down the field but the quarterback has to hold it for four or five seconds. But it works the other way around, too. If somebody's open every time he pats that football and reaches the top of his drop, I can't get there in time. So the, the coverage needs to tighten up a little bit, mess up the rhythm, jam the receivers maybe a little bit more. Give me a little bit of time so those big boys up front can get to the quarterback. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Lacey needs to return. Lacey from the seven. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. We're about set to start things up again. Three down, three down. Kentucky has a three-point lead. He's to the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Gets out to around the 45. That makes it 72. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's on the run. Makes it out to about the 29.
slings it. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Seven yard line. He makes it to the six yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. They come out on an empty backfield. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. That brings us fourth and goal. Kentucky is up by three. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Mustangs come into today's game ranked 20th in the nation. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for SMU, how about that call by the defensive coordinator? Results in the pick six. The Mustangs are on top, 31-14. 13-7 to game here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Bratton from the six, and down he goes at the 26-yard line. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he's tackled at about the 35. That's good for a game in the yards. That brings us second and one. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Watch seven. Watch seven. Check, 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 check. Check, He carries the ball for a nice game. And they make the stop around the 43 yard line. First down. He makes it to the 42 yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Gets out to about the 21 yard line. Tackle around the nine yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and goal. They go option right and nothing to do and tackle for a loss. So the fullback loses about a yard. And now he pitches it. Touchdown, Volunteers. Try 
trying to take the lead. Here's the extra point. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. They line up to kick this one away. Lacey from the four. He's tackled at the 24. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute and put points up. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime packing. He has some room. Tackle made at the 50. From midfield, second down. Gets to around the 42. This play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, nine. Oh, three, nine. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 36. Game one on the play. That brings us fourth and seven. That's three down and one to go. Tennessee's up by one. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. the 32-yard line. So early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight football game, and the game could hinge on this possession. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That brings him second and five. Tennessee with a one-point lead. Check. 
Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. First down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Catches it, and that's all. Norman makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. That brings him second and five. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's a gain of five on the play. That makes it first and ten. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. 49 to fight, 149. Easy, easy, easy. 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 And he's level at the 47-yard line. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. tailback on the screen brought down at about the 43 yard line that'll make it 39 He zips it, gets it, he's in space. He's taken down around the one-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Just under three to go in regulation. Touchdown, Vols! He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll take it from the two. Gets to about the 24-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Quick out to his receiver. He's to the 40. And down he goes at the 42. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's going left. Looks to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. Important play coming up, and if they can get these two yards, we'll have a tie ball game. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Two, blue, 20. Motion, motion, motion. 
Run play, and he'll lose yards. With a three-play, 76-yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So the score now, 21-19. Gathered in at the six. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. And I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. out quickly to the tailback and he tackles him hard to the 38 yard line so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield knocked out of bounds at the 43 is the putter. Lacey takes it at the 23. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. The Wildcats were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimme. Well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under two minutes in the game. Fires complete over the middle. And he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. Here comes the pressure, and he's going to come up with a sack. Call the loss of one yard on the play. Kill, kill, kill! Bring up second and 12. Ship, ship. Go. He wants it all. The defender had it and then dropped it. Thompson's the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 12. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. Just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. at right. He's hit and taken down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He lets it fly. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Alford was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 37-yard line. Second down. Under a minute left in the game. Quick throw out to the receiver. Incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. Caught a big hit there to stop it. should do it a fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game 
This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that'd mean a victory. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. Kentucky will take their second time out of the half. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. Kentucky's out of timeout. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Parker awaits the snap. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one, 21-19, Volunteer. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Tennessee came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you next time.